Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. And I'm here today because someone asked me to do something. Someone wanted to know what, how many SQ sync cords and tickets we had until the actual six year anniversary where the anniversary unit will be released and Oberon as well. So, because I'm, I very rarely ever get anyone asking me to do something specifically, so that's going to be today's video. I'm just going to very quick, well not very quickly, it takes a while, but I've done the math and I'm pretty sure it's sound, but if it's not sound, then forgive me on that one. But I'm pretty sure this is how many uh, stuff we have to go forward until the day. We actually don't have that much until anniversary, so uh, time is running short. So let's begin. So of course... First thing is always, when is the actual anniversary? Um, well, the anniversary is always during Anime Expo. As you can see here, July 4th to July 17th. This is, I think, the last day of Anime Expo that year. I forget, depending on what day it is. See, this one is third. It always kind of goes around Anime Expo. <laughs> I think the only year it doesn't is um, very weird years. Yeah, but you see, it's always around the third or fourth. And the reason it's like that is because that's when Anime Expo is over here in uh, California. July 6th was the third year anniversary. And this one... Yeah, I think this is probably... Probably around here is when they started doing the Anime Expo stuff. But yeah, you can usually track it to Anime Expo. So that's around... I When I would expect it would be around July 4th. That sounds about right. I think Anime Expo this year goes until the 5th, maybe? I don't actually fully remember because I'm not going this year. But, yeah, that's when the anniversary is to be expected. So, basically, 60 days from the timing of this video. It's 61 days for me, but it's 60 when this video releases. So, if you're seeing this any day outside of, let's see... Friday the 5th when I release this, then this is outdated info, at least in terms of how many days we got left to go for. But anyway, let's move forward. So, how many are we getting from all the events and stuff? Well, first of all, from this grail front we got here, My Super Camelot 2023, which is coming up pretty soon. We are expected to get seven tickets. Yep, pretty simple. One for each grail battle. I won't show the full battles in case you just want to be surprised by what it is, but there are seven Grail battles, so therefore seven tickets. There's no Saint Quartz in here, so that's it. Very simple, very simple day. <laughs> and then we're done. Now for the rest of these events, we are going to have to go to the JP server the version of the game. Uh, yep, there we go. May. Okay, so assuming that we get the Servant Summer Camp 2020 rerun, this is how it's going to look like for us. Uh, so in Summer Camp Rerun, there are 11 St. Quartz coming from the main quests. Um, one St. Quartz from something called the Post Part 1 Interlude and a Part 2 mission. I think it's in here, one of the mini scenarios. Yeah, you can see here a single St. Quartz. Um, yeah, so in total there will be 13 St. Quartz expected from this. I couldn't find anything else. I also don't think they give a ticket for this at all. Uh, there's challenge quests, but the challenge quests don't give you a ticket. They give you the, um, the crystallized lore, so it's not really, it's not really a thing. And I think from the missions themselves, I didn't see any tickets, but just to do a quick check. It can kind of depend whether or not there are actually tickets in these style of events, but I'm almost positive there are no tickets in this one, but I will do a quick double check. No, there isn't. So yeah, that's what you can expect from Summer Camp 2020. If it gets a re when it, if it gets a rerun, I have reason to believe that maybe, depending on how crazy things go, they might actually just skip doing a summer rerun until a little bit later. The reason is is that I think they did that last year, where they delayed it just a little bit. Let me see if I remember right. Now when did they do it last year? Was it super early? That's what it was. What was there was a year where they did it like super crazy. Yeah, it was on the it was during the fourth year anniversary where they held it until like the day of the anniversary. So that might be a thing here as well. Just because they're rushing towards Lost Belt Six, it might be a case of. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of time in the month, so in theory we can spend two weeks on it. But you know, I'm just saying this could happen. I can't predict the future fully, but that's kind of what I would expect if they're going to be throwing a curveball at some point. Just because they really, really, really need to get the Lost Belt 6 stuff out in time for anniversary, and there's just not a lot of time left. So some events might just be moved in a weird order just to make sure that we get 
the, the stuff that's important to us first. But anyway, let's move on from there. Let's go on to June, where we have... Funny enough, the next big thing, and this is a big thing, is the Main Quest Clear campaign. I didn't remember them giving this much, but apparently they do. So, for limited master missions, first of all, you just get 10 if you have cleared Hein Kyo. By this point, it'll be from June 11th to June 30th, but obviously it's whenever um, this comes out for us. It's not going to be the same. But anyway... Uh, we get 12 from part 1, 12 from part 2, 12 from part 3, and 12 from part 4. So, <laughs> it's a lot to get at one amount. I think it is, uh, just to be sure, 48 in total from just this. Which is pretty crazy. They're all missions that you have to actually do, so there's a limited window for you to actually do them. So it's important that you actually get them done. But it's crazy that if you look at this, it's like, yeah, this was basically all through June, July, and all, it went into August. It was pretty crazy. That's what makes me think that maybe summer might get um, delayed because they're like, release this first because this is where we get a vast majority of um, St. Quartz. Like, just from this alone, uh, counting in the 48 plus the 10 from finishing Haikyo, that is a total of 58 Quartz just from a singular event, <laughs> which is insane. But they really wanted people to be caught up for Lost Belt 6. Now, Lost Belt 6 itself, I'm not going to show the actual nodes for it just because, um, avoid spoilers and stuff like that. Just in case there's someone who's just not seeing any of it. But you're just going to have to trust me on this. But basically, we get a total of, uh, 40 St. Quartz from the main quest, and then 16 from free quests when it comes to this Lost Belt. So something to keep in mind, there you go. Why is it like that? You'll find out when the actual Lost Belt comes out. Now, in the Japanese version of the game, it did come out in parts. I assume it's going to be the same for us over here, but I actually don't know. So we'll find out when everyone else does. So this is the part where I have to mention interlude campaigns. Interludes are in this thing that I like to call I unknown quartz. Because the only way you can actually get the quartz from the interlude campaign is that you actually have to have the units. So if you have all these units, and congratulations, you're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 same quartz, but I don't know how many. Like, even me, from me here, I have 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5 of them. 5 out of the 7, and then I'm missing 2 of them. So you can't get all of them. It's going to depend on your box. So it's unknown quartz, but basically that's what you get from an interlude campaign. We get nothing from a summoning campaign. From the Grand Nero Fest, we get a total of 15 tickets. The reason is is because of these ex exhibition quests right here. We don't get anything from the prelims, semis, and finals. Nothing at all. Nothing from the lotto from what I can remember. There's no tickets in here. Yeah, there's not. Just to be double sure on this one. But there isn't. And in terms of here, I... I think we get the post nerf version, so I don't think there's two different versions. I might be misremembering here, but I don't think this is just like it had to be nerfed during it or something. I don't know. But I would expect around, uh, like I said, 15 tickets. And then this is also a variable because it also depends on if you're able to beat them all. Now, if you're, if you got a modern box, you're going to be able to beat these. These challenge quests were a challenge back in 2016 and 2017. Which I think for us would I, was actually even further. It's actually closer than it is. When was the... Well, hold up. Because now I'm not sure when. Because that's the times they were in Japanese. But in English, our last Nero Fest I think was maybe 2019. Now, let me see here. Uh, just to be 100% sure on it. Uh... Uh, where is Nero Fest? Here, this might have been the final time we had Nero Fest. So yeah, Exhibition Quest 2019 and 2018. These were back when these events were... Yeah, these are nothing. Com comparatively now, this is not... This is a joke. We can probably beat these pretty easily. At least a decent amount of them. Through pure willpower alone. Just because a lot of these were like designed with the current units in mind and they have not been touched up at all. So certain ones that were probably tough back then are not going to be that tough at all. This one is always fun because this one is just like, can you survive Arash really quickly? Who's going to blow himself up? Which is always fun. 
But anyway, yeah, that's what you can expect from NeroFest. And finally, that is it in terms of actual events. Because literally, there's nothing in here, and then it's finally the six-year anniversary. And I think for... Yep, 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 that's it. And then inside of the actual anniversary itself, because that's a thing as well. I forget, there is a commemorative campaign, but I'm pretty sure there's absolutely nothing in it. Yeah, none, none of this... Oh, no, no. In the memorial quest, we get seven, but I count that as part of the actual event itself. But you get seven tickets from here. Uh, da -doy, da -doy, da -doy. Da -doy, da -doy. Okay, August. Yeah, this is when it concluded. Avalon Le Fay conclusion campaign. Which is funny to think about. But anyway, this is around the time where you would expect uh, Vich to show up. So this is the first of the units. Um... Oberon shows up a little bit afterwards, but for all intents and purposes, I'm cutting it off right here and assuming this is how much you could save up from this point if you were going to be summoning for one or the other. So now from the anniversary itself, we get a lot. Assuming that everything goes the way it did, which it always does on JP, we should be getting just 156 uh, St. Quartz, a bunch from retweets and a bunch from challenges from within. Um, this will be what's related to Anime Expo, probably whatever they do in Anime Expo, that's where we'll get the additional. But either way, we will always make up the same quartz. We will get the same amount here. The campaigns that are going to be going on, the 10 gig campaigns. So this one is another case of, I don't know, it's going to depend on the person. But every St. Quartz, the, the interludes, you, the St. Quartz you get from interludes is being doubled. What that means is that if you have cleared absolutely every single interlude that is in the game as of this, this anniversary, that is 138 St. Quartz in total, not everyone's going to get that amount because not everyone has absolutely every single unit in the game, which is an insane thing to think about. So really, if you just take up how many interludes have you completed this far, you can usually check that by seeing if you have completed the... Um, uh, interlude missions and stuff like that that will tell you at least a good parameter I'm pretty sure I'm somewhere close to a hundred so I'll probably get a hundred sync quartz from this I think um, yeah I'll get a hundred SQ from this and probably some extra one because I'm not a hundred percent sure but either way this is a variable from person to person so it's gonna de really depend on how many of these have you done and how many you're gonna get from this point so yeah 138 um, in terms of the extra missions, I think there's a total of 120, which is from, again, assuming that you beat Olympus, Haikyo did 150 strength in quests, no, did a 200 strength in quests, there's, uh, there's actually 240 interludes? Wait, that, that map doesn't make any sense now. So they said if you complete 240 interludes, but if you complete every single interlude, it should be 138? My math maybe doesn't check out super well on that. But either way, that is the... <laughs> for some reason, I was like, looking like, wait, if there are 240 interludes, wouldn't that mean you'd get close to 200... It doesn't make any sense. Doesn't really make super amount of sense. Either way, for this one... <laughs> I, maybe there's some interludes where you just don't get St. Quartz or something? I don't know. Now I'm just, like, super curious about this. If you know the cure for this one, feel free to tell me, but... Up to 138 can be received clearing all interludes. That doesn't make any sense to me. Now I'm like st stuck on this one. What what does it mean? The interlude campaigns, that's different. Anyway, let's move on. Again, this is all variable stuff, so I don't fully know how many it's going to be. It's going to also be varied from person to person. But anyway, 120 if you complete all those that you have right there. Uh, 10 sync uh, 10 tickets from logging in uh, from the seventh day login. I didn't count this in the total because that is technically into anniversary, but you would be able to use those 10 tickets for Vich, as that's who you're going for. So I should count that in there. So I think that would be there. We go. Um, and yeah, that is basically it. And that is basically all you have from here. Um, yeah, that's it. And that's everything from here. And if you're going for Vich, I think Oberon is just a couple campaigns afterwards. I think he's the conclusion campaign. Uh, yes. Yes, he is the first one. I was doing a quick double check. This is for your spoiler protection, basically. But he is 
he's up there. So, with all that said and done, what does that mean for total? So, in total, terms of total uh, sync quartz, that is a total of 494, and that is 632 if you include a lot of the interlude stuff. Like I said, it's variable de depending on how many you get, but let's assume you have the perfect box, and so you had everything, and you complete everything. That's how much a sync quartz you will have. The reason I'm also including this, I forgot to mention it, is that I'm also taking into account the daily logins. So over eight and a half weeks, you should be able to get 34 quarts from daily logins and eight summon tickets and then over nine weeks the 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 daily not the daily the weekly missions that should total up to 189 sync quarts and then you get 27 sq um i also just realized that i didn't count the sync quarts that you get from completing story missions for the new lost belt so you might be getting just a little bit more uh sync quarts on that one I don't remember the exact amount on that one, but I forget. That's some extra sync quartz right there. Forgive me for forgetting that one, but it's the one thing. There's a lot of things to kind of balance on here <laughs> that I forgot, but forgive me on that one. But anyway, the total should be around 494 sync quartz to 632. Basically, the upper limit is 632. That's how much you could expect if you had absolutely everything here. In terms of tickets, that's 47 tickets, which is the equivalent of... Let's see... So it's three St. Quartz for every one ticket. So that would be around 141 St. Quartz. If you combined 141 with the 632 that you got maxed, that'd be 773, which that would mean you would still not have enough for pity because then you would still need to do... Um, Four multis and I think a s couple single summons to actually get the pity, uh, which is 900 sync quartz, and that's assuming that you have the worst luck in the world and you have to pity, which is totally possible. I've seen people go up to the 2000s and not get them back in the old days before pity was a thing. So yeah, not enough to actually get a full pity of anything, but if you're someone who has been saving and someone who's just been doing stuff in the background, you probably should have enough for doing a lot of that stuff. Like I said, a lot of these things are variables that I just don't know about your your um, your own version of the game that I just don't have the info for. I can't really do a lot. Like I also don't know how many maintenance stones. Uh, maintenance stones. <laughs> too much dokon how much maintenance quartz we would be getting just because hey anything could happen and we could easily have a crazy jansa situation where we just go an entire day where the game's unplayable who knows it's possible uh i don't know how many interludes people have left to go over and i don't know how many strengthens they have left to go over i don't know if you have lost belts to go still go through there's plenty of variables here that i just don't know but in terms of the base variables that should be what you should be expecting. Um, pretty simple stuff. And yeah, that's bit 60 days away. Basically two months away from when this would all go down. Um, and yeah, so happy, good, lucky saving. I hope this helps in some way. Again, sorry, I could not remember how many St. Quartz fragments. One moment, let me pause and see if I could figure it out real quick. Okay, you get one for each node that's in there. So the answer is a whole bunch load because Lost Belt 6 is really stupid long. <laughs> so I, I can't actually do the math real quick because I have to start getting stuff ready for work. But you're going to get a lot of stuff from it. That's for, uh, for sure from that one. Probably maybe close to maybe a multi, maybe. Maybe 20 quarts is what I would guess. Is Lost Belt 6 is super crazy long, so it could be anywhere around that. Sorry, again, can't check on that, but yeah, should be around that much. If you actually know the answer, feel free to tell me. So, yeah, that's the end of today's video. If you found it helpful, I'm glad. If you end up liking the video, feel free to leave a like, it always helps. And good luck saving. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of saving. I don't think there's a single banner here besides Morgan. But I know Morgan comes back. But I also know me, so I'll probably end up doing a summon regardless. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Till next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck saving. I'll see you guys later. Bye.